Hey guys, so about a year ago I made a small investment on this cheap little blast cabinet that uh, I needed for cleaning up some, some parts here for the Volkswagen Beetle engine and I'll be needing for the Honda 50 over there. Um, did the job but uh, you know you get what you pay for so um, some issues with it as you're sandblasting you get all the, uh, the dust and all that blowing everywhere throughout the garage and uh, with the vacuum hooked up to the port here which had a filter on, the filter would just clog up right away and uh, basically made the vacuum useless. So, uh, so I did some searching. I won't go into the details here, but there's a lot of videos on YouTube on how to create a dust trap, which basically allows you to run without a filter and it catches all the, the dust and sand in the bucket to put back into the cabinet uh, without going into the vacuum filter. So I did that. I made a little stand here, just out of some angle iron, some casters. Um, all that total was probably less than a hundred dollars. So I haven't used it yet since then, but uh, I give it a try now to uh, clean up some parts for our daughter's PW50. Not that they're in bad shape, but just to uh, quickly go over them. Take it down to the bare steel and repaint the parts to make them look uh, new again. Alright, so we got the blast cabinet ready to go. The silica sand inside. The air compressor's on. We'll turn the vacuum on in a minute here. Clean up here is the, the exhaust heat shield for the PW50. It's uh, I'm talking to the camera. For the video Why? to show how the sandblast cabinet works. Why? We have fix up parts for a surprise for you. Why? Anyways, so we have to sandblast, get some of that rust off there, just to get it painted up again with some nice ceramic painting to uh, make it last and uh, look a little better. Anyways, set that in the cabinet. Secure the lid. In the past, I had to wear a uh, mask just because of all the dust that came up here. Um, bending over, you're just breathing that, that crap in. So, um, anyways, I'm expecting that not to be required now with the the vacuum. I'm um, sucking all that out, and uh, all right, let's give it a try. All right, so that there seemed to work much better than before um, with the vacuum hooked up going through this dust trap here, which collected about a small handful of uh, used silica sand. Um, I was able to get that part cleaned up there and a couple other parts of the exhaust um, without any dust coming through to my face. And I could actually see through the uh, display window there without too much dust collecting inside there. So, seemed to work, did the trick, and uh, carry on now with a few other parts here for the PW50 build. Get them blasted to, uh, to paint, and I will be switching over to silica sand, get this engine casing, and uh, a couple other parts cleaned up, just to look nice and shiny again. Overall, I'd say this little blast cabinet here is doing the job that I need it to and that these uh, couple little modifications I did really seem to improve the, uh, the function of it. So anyways, if you enjoyed the video, give me a like and subscribe to the channel to help support it out and stay tuned for some future videos. Thanks for watching.